are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Especially the younger teams. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Host tandem, Johnson and Biombo. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Bridges in at the threesome. Curry gets the bucket. And the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Curry is just lethal from outside. Wiggins passes to Looney. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. That's a double win, you guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. The shot's good from Paul. What confidence from the accomplished veteran. Paul doesn't need much space to shoot from the mid-range. Drills it from outside. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Paul. He had 15 points last out. A nice shot by Booker. And this is what Paul is known for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. Here's Paul. Following the basket by Draymond Green. Booker finds Paul. Back to Booker. Just five on the clock. Pulls up. High post. And the Suns tack on two more. And Greg, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. So it's Phoenix now. The Warriors making the shot. Pass to Paul. To the paint. Here's Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And on the slam, Bridges using the vertical to finish strong before the D can contest. Here's Looney. And another basket for Golden State. Yeah, complete focus right now. Such an impressive start to this game. 100% from the field. Now the pass to Booker. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. On the wing, Johnson, from past the arc. Good, and a nice assist from Booker. Great decision making from Booker, realizing one of his guys is open and whips the pass to him. Curry outside, they get the rebound. From downtown, they kick it out to Green, pass to Curry, fires from deep, knocks down the three ball. Curry's got six points. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Another three for Golden State. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities, but their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of a game. Here's Bridges again, Phoenix. The basketball genius of Paul in action, finding those chances to set his guys up. Thompson for the triple. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And some might go as far. Greg is saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times. And, and their shooting is so exceptional, it hides everything else. Like how they can dominate the glass defensively. Here's Green. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. And another three for Golden State. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Monty Williams. And Coach had nothing but praise for his players, saying they've done everything I've asked. They put in the extra work in practice. 
trying to turn their weaknesses into strengths. That's showing up in the win column. As a coach, Kevin, that's probably the best you can ask for. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Different look here for the Warriors. Heisman's checked in for Kavon Looney. Green comes in for Tremont Green. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Clay Thompson. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Sharks checked in for Bismack Biamba. Torrey Craig comes in for Mikael Bridges. Lee's checked in for Devin Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. 115 left in the first quarter of the game. Curry deciding where to go with it. It's over Payne. Nice form on the 20-footer. Curry's got 11 points. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Payne with it. Eight points his last outing. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. And here's Poole for three. Another three for Golden State. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. There will be some let down at some point, but these teams, they are built to score. So. Good on the bucket. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They lead by seven. There's Green with the three. Good on the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Lee outside. Another three for Phoenix. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Curry fires from way outside. Another three for Golden State. What a response from Curry. Gotta know he's coming for his revenge. Now Payne. It's good from long range. Payne's got a second bucket tonight. Whiteside Curry. It's over Payne. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. The previous play is under review. Hey, to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. The ruling on the floor is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He went on an aerial three-point display, drilling four long balls in just the one quarter alone. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? And so it's Golden State with it. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. You gotta give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. And maybe if they were at home, their fans could have given them the boost they needed to get over the top. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Mike Williams has on the floor. Charge is out there with Torrey Craig. Then there's Landry Shamit. Then there's Cameron Payne. And it's a Kogi in at the small forward. And talking about Dario Charge, a role player, Richard, who does whatever is asked of him. Yeah, those are the players that you need. You want a guy that doesn't care if he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a guy that just wants to win. And his selfless attitude helps serve as a catalyst for this team. And it goes down two points. Payne's got seven points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And stolen by Payne. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Charge outside. 
Another three for Phoenix. The way he can elevate over a defender from deep, very tough to contain outside the arc. 